This girl has a habit of never changing toilet paper. It's been three years of this habit. Three I'm years. Sorry. Three years. I'm so sorry. I meant to, but I got distracted by my thesis. That's the excuse? A thesis? Yeah. That's the excuse. A thesis. Thank you, D. You're welcome. The term work hard pays off is very true. I bust my ass doing these videos, getting the best shots, edit the videos. I'm up all night just really trying to get the story right on each video, investing in equipment. I now have over 2,000 subscribers on this channel. This is amazing. So that's what I'm saying. Work hard pays off. It's true. I work hard and it's paying off. I'm seeing the results. The shit is real. It really works. You work your ass off, you will see some good results. It's just that simple. 2,000 subscribers later on because I bust my ass, it's paying off. I'm seeing the results. It's real. It feels amazing. And I want more. Sky's the limit. This is going on television. <laughs> well, this is going on a website called YouTube. It's almost like watching TV. Yeah. Yep. What, what channel will come? Well, it's on your computer. Computer? Yeah. My wife has a, a square thing there. What do you call it? It's a, it's a tab? Is that what it is? Yeah, it's like a computer. Yeah. yeah, that's probably what it is. So, the whole point is to hit the ball to the white ball. Closer to the white ball. When you do this as well, you have to get your ball close to the little ball. Uh huh. And then if it's this close, I have an adversary or the other one. I have to shoot that one. Right. To make it, to make it, to make it for us to make another point. I understand. Yeah. Looks like fun to play. Right. It looks like fun to play. Yeah. Hey, nice move. Nice movie. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I did? Yeah. You knew that? No, I didn't hear about this person. Yeah, there's a guy who died in a, 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 a Tesla. He owned a Tesla and he was showing it off like crazy. A Tesla, was, he, like he was right here with his friends, they're talking mm -hmm. in the back seat. The car is driving itself, mm -hmm. changing lane, talking, changing lane, changing lane. And then they were doing it. He was on YouTube, so everybody's bragging about it. And bad luck for him one day. Mm. He was on the he was on the car. This time he was he's watching a movie while the car is driving. He's just relaxing. He tilted the wheel, you know. Yeah. Tilt the seat watching the movie. And then there's a trailer that is going straight. You gotta make it right, it's like. You gotta make it right? Yeah. There's a trailer there's a trailer that's going to uh, there's a trailer that's, that's coming straight. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Right? An 18 wheeler that's coming straight. And then for whatever reason the test that it did, uh, could not detect it. Make the left drug, right out of them. Kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them, everybody. I didn't hear about this one, man. Because it is, uh, for whatever reason, the test that it did, there's a sensor, there's no sensor. To detect the car. Yeah. 
writing about this. And of all people who died, it's that guy who was trying to make it to advertise Tesla for Tesla by put out out of nowhere. Wow. You YouTube it. Make a record, yes. Right? Yeah. You can just YouTube a Tesla driver watching TV. I got to check that out, man. It says. No, they, they, they changed the law where you actually, there has to be a driver behind the wheel. Oh, okay. Things got so bad that Uber stopped doing that. Uber stopped buying cars with uh, self-driving self cars. Yeah. And California says, hell no, we ain't having that. <laughs> they say, listen, they say, we ain't having that. You know? <laughs> They say you, you can you can have it you can have it you no know, they tell Uber you can have the car to be self driving but there must Driver be a human being present behind the wheel. We're having that. <laughs> we're having no other nobody else get crazy when in the because what happened if you if, if you don't know and then you see the car driving and you don't know, you start looking and you might have an accident. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> brother, have a good one. All right, God bless, God bless you. <laughs> This may be one of my favorite parts of my day. Me going for my nice Monday run. Evening run on Monday. Time to run. I'm participating in this um, this study by Jessica B. Greenbaum. I hope I said your name right. I'm sorry. Central Connecticut State University, and she is a professor for sociology. She sent me an email last night, and um, she sent this form, this consent form, for me to read over and sign. I won't show you too much information, but this is the form I have to read over and answer some questions, and I have to sign back here. Um, there's some questions at the answer here and there's some more questions back here. So she's doing this study on race, ethnicity, and veganism. I'm not sure what race has to do with being vegan. That's what I'm kind of confused about. Like, what does race have to do with being vegan? So I'm really, very interesting topic, man, because I'm, I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to figure out what kind of questions would she be asking me regarding race and veganism. Because I don't think race has anything to do with veganism. I don't think anyone's ethnicity has anything to do with, you know, this lifestyle of being vegan. So, I don't know. Very interesting study. And I can't wait to see what kind of questions she asked me.